Well, the 10 o'clock curfew didn't stop people descending on our city centres on Saturday night. In Nottingham, queues formed outside supermarkets as the police cleared pubs and restaurants. Our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball, was there and he's here now. How did it go? Well, Tom, it was already pretty busy when I got into town at five o'clock. We popped out for a meal. The biggest challenge I had actually was ordering a drink because you had to do that on a phone app and we simply couldn't get a signal where uh, we were sat. I did manage to get some footage later on, though. You can see here there were long queues at our venue just near here. Uh, a doorman was making sure people socially distanced. Uh, this code took your contact details. Everyone had their temperature taken. The restaurant even gave us cutlery wrapped in little plastic bags and it did seem to work pretty well all in all. So later on in the evening, what about that 10 p.m. curfew? Because there has been criticism, hasn't there? Yeah, concerns about two things, really. First of all, that people uh, will simply move on and gather in homes instead. Also, worries that this is taking us back to the time when venues all closed at the same time, and you'll remember the trouble that mm. used to cause. Now, on Saturday, the police in Nottingham seemed pretty well prepared for that. They uh, descended on the market square. This is just before half past nine. That wasn't long before people started to leave the bars. Look at what happened next. More long queues, this time for the supermarkets. Uh, back in the market square as the clock struck 10 o'clock, you can see how this pub nearby was already locked up. Across the road, though, at the first sign of trouble, officers were straight in. Uh, and then this, 10 minutes later, a fish and chip shop still serving. So the police went in. They told all the customers they had to leave. Uh, most people were on their way home soon after that. But today, Nottingham's police commander told me that they have learned some lessons from all of this. We're working with partners in the trams and the local authority to look at uh, con congestion on the tram network, people may be gathering for parties and encouraging people to plan travel differently, maybe book taxis. Now the police have also thanked business owners for trying to stick to the rules and they say there were actually only two arrests in Nottingham which isn't that unusual for a Saturday night. Okay Jeremy thanks very much indeed.